All right, hello. I hope y'all are having a great day. Today, uh, we're doing a, a second yak update because the second one arrived, and then in the end, there's going to be a little bit of pond fishing. So I have been excited out of my mind for this kayak because, as I've said, I love that skinny water, and I wanted to get out and fish our local ponds in the springtime. So, saw the last video. That was a bummer. Uh, fishing online, as soon as I sent them the photos, shipped me a second one uh, immediately. Now, it takes a while because it's big and, you know, I think it took like six or seven days uh, to get here. So, check out the second one. Yeah, that's a bummer. That is a... <laughs> I can't tell you how disheartening that is to have it happen a second time. And again, this is no fault of fishing online. They, they were great. I sent them the photos. They shipped another one right away. I think it went out the next day because I sent the photos in the afternoon. Um, they can't control a, a forklift driver pounding a forklift fork through the hole of my kayak. Like, unreal. So, I opted to not have a third kayak shipped and risk it again and so they refunded me my money for the kayak uh, even refunded the shipping costs so I didn't even ask for that that was great and I bought one out of next adventure in Portland Oregon I would have bought local in the first place but when I was first searching around I didn't see bona fide on their website well I finally talked to them and found out they do carry bona fide they were just out of stock so I want local and now I'm just waiting for them to get back in stock, which is painful. It is freaking painful. Um, yeah, yeah, I can take the boat out, and don't get me wrong, I love fishing the boat, but I'm just dying to fish that little water. And it's about time to go fish the Umpqua more, right? And, and I love floating around out there, and I, I need to take the kayak or something, and I gave away my pontoon boat. So I have no small watercraft right now, which is killing my soul. So that's the update on the yak. Um, I'm I'm kind of burnt on bank fishing because I've had poison oak twice this year. That is terribly unfun. One of the times I got some in a pretty uncomfortable place. You know, you, you know what I mean. And so I haven't been bank fishing a whole lot, but I did do a little pond fishing that's coming up here at the end. And actually, it's not supposed to rain a ton this afternoon, so I might go out and do a little pond fishing again today. Uh, we, we will see, so I'll kick over, enjoy the pond fishing. As always, if you enjoy these videos, if you like what I'm doing, subscribe, it lets me know I'm doing something good. Have a good day. All right, good morning. I'm gonna be quick. I'm coming out to local pond, highly pressured pond. I wanted to get here first thing in the morning while it's overcast, low light, throw some top water, throw some moving baits, see if any fish wanna eat, and then I'm gonna get out and go have breakfast. Let's go. All right, uh, no bites this morning. I fished for like 90 minutes. Real simple, one out, threw top water, threw a swim jig, broke the swim jig off, and then threw a Texas rig creature bait. So no bites. This afternoon, I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to go to uh, another little local pond that I haven't been to. I've heard it's bum infested. That's a terrible thing to say. I've heard people who are unfortunate that don't have a home have started living there. So I'm gonna go look if it's real bad, I'll get out. But I'm all prepped for uh, for the kayak, made some room out here. So, got the accessory shelf. I have most of my kayak accessories, just no kayak, which is super sad. Um, I'm hoping it fits up top where the seat is currently sitting. 
I might have to throw a board or something up there. I don't know, we'll see. All right, well, since, uh, since nothing was cut this morning, I'm gonna go give it a whirl again for a couple more hours this afternoon. Check out a few other ponds, like, you know, always with pond hopping. Chuck some things, hope for the best, probably catch nothing. Let's go. All right, so I've never been to this pond. Um, I thought it was, uh, had a lot of people living here. I don't see any so far, but I've seen a fair amount of trash. I don't know, let's give it a go. I brought a spinner bait, pretty bright color. And looking at the pond, I'm gonna have to change that. All right, there was a there was a good sized fish swimming around down there. Wouldn't touch the bandito bug and would not touch, well, I'm not throwing the spinner anymore. That's what I took off because this water is very clear for a pond. I'm just gonna run the swim bait or jig, swim jig by him a couple times. Nothing. Oh, I don't know if that was a fish or I bumped a twig down there. I can see a twig sticking up, but not right where I cast it. Got one. <laughs> was a fish. Come here. Oh, fat too. I mean, not big, but he's fat. Little guy. What was a fish down there? Little fish eat these swim jigs, man. I'm telling you. There was a guy just fishing this hole, said he'd been here a while. I'm not saying I'm better, it's just, you know, different baits. Got one. I don't know how big. Decent. They are short and fat here. Two I've got, short and fat. They're a pound and a half. They're freaking healthy. He tagged it. Thank you. 